Episode 4 opens back at the mansion, where the prince is in a royal huff, completely baffled by his father's decision to hand over the legendary black blade to some nobody. This sword, found by the king during a dungeon raid with the six sovereigns, is made from an unknown material that's tougher than a mother's patience. No matter what they threw at it, not a single scratch appeared, so they dubbed it the indestructible sword. The big mystery is how such an unbreakable weapon got so beat up in the first place. While the prince is annoyed, he kind of gets at the kingdoms in chaos, and maybe this Nor guy is supposed to shake things up. Meanwhile, Nor and Len are chowing down at a food stand. Nor, still weirded out by having a princess for a student, asks if she's sure it's okay to hang with him. Len shrugs it off, saying she's just an adventurer today and can do whatever she wants. Nor plans to hit the guild afterward, hoping some grunt work will bore her and she'll leave him alone. But judging by her enthusiasm, that plan's a long shot. At the guild, the guild master's eyes nearly pop out when he sees Nor with the princess. Len insists on being treated like any other adventurer, and the guild master, recognizing a subplot he doesn't want to be part of, wisely drops the subject. Nor asks for a quest for two, and thanks to Len's silver B rank, they're cleared for a goblin hunt, a major upgrade from Nor's usual fetch quests. While excited, Nor feels a pang of guilt for using Len's rank and checks if she's cool with it. Len, ever the eager helper, is totally fine, so Nor swallows his doubts and agrees, because hey, dreams don't chase themselves. Sword in hand, Nor almost bolts out the door before remembering he doesn't know where he's going. The guild master, with the patience of a saint, points out their destination on a map, the Forest of Beasts. Their task, bring back goblin ears for payment. If they can't find goblins, medicinal herbs will do. Details sorted, Nor and Lin head to the gatekeepers for a quick info check, and after getting the all clear, they're off on their quest. Upon reaching the forest of beasts, Nor is gobsmacked by the dense vegetation, which is nothing like the trees back home. Ever curious, he asks Lin to dish the dirt on goblins. She explains they're usually small-time hunters and gatherers, but can turn nasty if left unchecked. They're crucial to the ecosystem, so they shouldn't be wiped out, even if they're a bit bitey. Impressed by Lin's knowledge, Nor feels like he's the one who should be taking notes. As they venture deeper, Lin uses her search ability, but finds no goblins in sight, confirming the rumors of their dwindling numbers. Instead, she detects a distant monster, and they decide to investigate. Suddenly, the monster's presence vanishes. At the spot, Nor spots a pair of floating legs. Lin's uncover spell reveals a massive goblin. Nor's jaw drops. Lin explains it's a goblin, but forgets to mention that most goblins don't look like they bench press boulders. This beast is a goblin emperor. It picks up trees like their toothpicks. Lin panics, knowing the emperor's strength, while Nor, with his limited goblin knowledge, thinks it's a walk in the park. Nor's overconfidence impresses Lin, making her think he's a seasoned pro. She decides to fight alongside him. The goblin charges, but Nor parries its strikes like a pro. He instructs Lin to attack while the goblin is stunned. Her spells miss until the goblin starts throwing trees. Nor blocks them, but the goblin tries to overwhelm him by hurling multiple trees. Lin's wind blast saves Nor, but the goblin heals quickly thanks to a mana stone on its head. Nor, channeling his inner action hero, asks Lin to hit his back with a wind blast to catapult him forward. Despite her doubts, Lin agrees. The blast sends Nor flying like a human cannonball. He stabilizes, evades the goblin's attacks, and strikes its forehead, dislodging the mana stone. With the goblin weakened, Nor asks Lin to finish it off. She agrees but ends up flambaying it to ashes so much for a painless end. Quest complete, Nor decides to avoid goblin hunts for a while, realizing goblins are not as easy as he thought. Meanwhile, the prince hears about the goblin emperor's defeat and suspects the magic empire's meddling. The purity of the monostone worries him, hinting at the holy theocracy of Mithra's involvement. He checks on Lin, relieved she only suffered minor wounds. 
The goblins cloaking magic and mysterious transport into the kingdom baffle him. With declining goblin numbers prompting an investigation, the prince orders his team to stay vigilant and report any unusual activity. Back at the guild, Nor and Lin report in. The guild master chuckles at Nor's tale, assuming Lin did all the heavy lifting. Nor mentions the monostone, confusing the guild master since regular goblins don't have such bling. Believing it was just a goblin, Nor realizes he has no proof since Lin turned their evidence into a pile of ash. Subscribe so you don't miss the next part who knows, maybe next time they'll fight a dragon with a six-pack. Because who doesn't want to see a dragon that's been hitting the gym?